pick up where I left off yesterday, um, pouring with lost foam castings with this uh, offset uh, reusable pouring basin. Here's the uh, fruits of yesterday's labors. It's a tubular water neck. I cast a few of these. See, it came out pretty well on all that. It was a pretty calm, uh, tranquil pour. Um, there were just a couple of little pops of flame, and I'm going to see if I can't eliminate that altogether and get everything to, to vent through the uh, uh, coating, which is this drywall mud. So you can see I've got quite a few foam, foam patterns sitting here. Um, got a few extras of these that I haven't coated yet. So I'm experimenting a little bit with uh, different coatings and different degrees of permeability. Um, I have some commercial lost foam um, coating refractory material. So uh, right now I'm just using uh, drywall mud. Um, this is the uh, pouring basin. You can see it's made out of this moldable ceramic fiber. Uh, close up, you can see it's just got the classic well step. And then that hole receives a uh, one inch uh, foam sprue here um, on the pattern. And it'll be positioned in the, uh, the mold like so. Let's see if I can get a little bit of video um, of that. And then uh, this little thing right here is just uh, something I can grab with pliers to uh, lift out the pouring basin afterwards while the metal's still molten uh, so I can dump it out and reuse it. So uh, I actually have a pretty good uh, collection of foam patterns going here. Usually I don't have uh, that many foam patterns. I've got a few more in the back room. So I've got some casting stock. But uh, anyway, so that's kind of the setup for it uh, going forward. And I'll see if I can patch together a couple of uh, other videos onto this one that uh, take me through or take you through the process.